Hey there, Aries. How are you doing? I uh, hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And we're just going to talk really quick a little bit about Aries and what I do. So uh, thank you very much to Nicole for inviting me to uh, give you all a quick little preview of what I do. My name, again, is Carolyn B. I am a tarot reader. So uh, this is brought to you by Spiritual Guidance for you only already don't get my other uh channel jealous <laughs> just kidding all right aries so you are a fire sign ruling planet is mars and what do we have for you for my aries all right so uh let's see here this is on september 9th so this could have to do with the future october all right so we'll just give you a little quick glimpse here of what's going on here we have the autumn which is really no surprise it says here release the old and rest what does that mean that could have anything to do with love health uh friends family finances lack thereof but it seems like something pretty significant is going to be happening in the fall or already has uh, relationship wise or pretty much this is almost you have it the uh, crow right there all right uh, this could have to do with manifesting your future reality of what you want to be and clearly letting go of the past even though it seems to me when it comes to our dear Aries my fiery Aries there that other people may not be able to let go of you all right and uh sometimes it's hard when you're trying to explain to someone hey it's just not going to work anymore now that's not necessarily to say that that's going to be happening for all of you alrighty um because i do understand that you are all in different areas of your life all right especially when it comes to love and again this could have to do with uh having to rest having to recuperate and uh getting rid of those negative energies energy vampires if you will for an example uh, because my Aries, you are very in tune. A lot of you are empaths. A lot of you are hey, okay, empaths. Uh, for those that may be unfamiliar what that is, you like comedy, you know. Um, so sometimes you communicate with others differently than what they expect. Uh, it may seem like a dry sense of humor, kind of like these leaves. And I was like, I just don't get you. <laughs> Aries are unique and wonderful and fabulous. And I absolutely love them. All right, so basically needing to get that rest, and it's just like I don't really necessarily want to hear all this self-love talk. You kind of have to. You need that. You need that time to recuperate because what you're putting out there is pretty much what you're going to get. And I understand uh, that can be easier said than done. So let's see what else we have here going on. Very quickly, just to give you a generalized idea of who I am, and very nice to meet all of you. So let's see here. All right, so, okay, we have the Two of Swords here, and uh, pretty much this is making that decision. Also reminds me of, like, this stalemate thing going on, two people being very stubborn, and I find this really intriguing. Uh, we were joking around, like, the other night, uh, I was saying Cyclops, you know, that character, uh, they take off the sunglasses, and they've got these... Uh, rays of fire fire beams that come out of their eyes so they have to keep these magical sunglasses on so they don't burn everything down but if looks could you know really they it says a lot like this like is a whole new meaning to the side eye but like people here are being uh pretty stubborn could be the both of you cross watcher this may not necessarily have to do with you um you know possibly if you stumble across this this uh you may not have Aries anywhere in your astrological breakdown of your chart and hey that's all right some of you could be working with water signs when it comes to water signs some of you could be working with Pisces Scorpio maybe even Cancer also too I'm noticing a lot of fire fire signs Aries 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 Leo Aries Sagittarius as well but this is also coming to that decision. This is also cutting ties uh, with certain people, places, things, habits that no longer served you. Maybe uncomfortable, maybe scary, possibly settling down from a new adventure, from a past move. Uh, so 
This could also be a wonderful card as well. <laughs> you know, what was this? Rest, relaxation. This is universe kind of coming down. Source, whoever, just being like, here you go. Here's some energy. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking a rest when it comes to taking care of your health, relationships, anything like that. And uh, that's just a little bit just to look forward to. Also, too, we noticed the squirrel right there gathering uh, acorns pretty much. You know, this is a preparation time for you. And if you have to take that rest, you know, be on the lookout for a lot of activity that's going to be going on most likely in November for you as well. All right. So thank you all again. It was nice meeting you and hopefully until next time.